Hi everyone, back again with another video on Kubernetes. I am Dinut. We are focusing on how to get through certified Kubernetes application developer certification in this video series. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I will include the link in the description. Today we are discussing on state persistence domain uh, in this CKAD curriculum and that will give you 8% of marks during the exam. So let's get it started. Containers were developed to be stateless, ephemeral, lightweight tools, only megabytes in size to speed up the application launch. However, this design is problematic when it comes to the data persistence because when the container goes away, you will lose the data that you have written into that file system of the container. To ensure the data persisted well beyond this container's life cycle, the best practice is to separate the data management from the containers. Kubernetes has multiple ways to do this. Kubernetes persistent volumes, persistent volume claims, storage classes are used to solve this problem. Before going into these topics, let's look at this example. Here in this pod definition, I'm creating a file in the containers opt number.out location with a random number. When we connect to the container shell with the exec command and check the file content, we can see that there's a random number generated, number is 95, and we can see it in this file. We can persist this file into Kubernetes nodes disk by adding a host path volume like this. We have used volumes in our previous discussions as well using config maps, secrets, how to mount those secrets or config maps as volumes. We can define host path volume directly in the pod definition under the volume section. My volume mapping name is data volume. Then I can define the host path volume configurations with path and type. In my node, I need to save this data into temp data folder because of that I'm adding host path location is temp data. And my type is a directory. If the directory is not available, I need to create this directory because of that as a type, I'm using directory or create. You can find out more details about host path volume in the Kubernetes documentation. Here I am using it as an example. This volume needs to be mounted into the container. Now we need to mount it into the OPT path because of that we have the volume mount section by pointing it to the, our volume name as well as mount path is OPT. When we make the configuration like this, it will make sure that number.out file in the container is persist to the node disk slash temp slash data number.out location. Now let's delete the pod, recreate and check the file again. Then we can see that two random numbers are saved into this file, 95 and 48 because 95 got written in our previous pod and then 48 written into this file in this new pod instance. That means no matter our previous pod got deleted, data that we have generated within that pod was persisted into this nodes disk storage. Please note that in your Kubernetes cluster, if you have multiple nodes and if the new pod got scheduled in a different node, you will not be able to see the content persisted with the previous pod with this host path volume type. Now let's move in to another example. In this example, we are looking at empty DIR volume type. Empty DIR volume data is persisted as long as the pod is running in that node. All containers in the pod can read and write the same files in the empty DIR volume by mounting the volume to the containers within the pod. When the pod is removed from the node, the data in the empty DIR is deleted permanently. That means you can use empty DIR for a stretch this kind of a scenario. In this example, I have two containers. Container one is writing a file into app message.txt location and within the container two, I'm trying to access the same message by mounting the empty DIR volume into different places in the container one and container two. 
in the container one empty dir volume is mounted into a path but in the second container i am mounting it into the opt path so because of that the content written into app message dot text location that data can be accessed in the container two with the slash opt message dot text file 